Most festivals have games, food, and prizes. We found a festival that caters to man's best friend. Good boy. Dogs are one of the more common pets. Like many dog owners, Valerie considers her puppies part of the family. There's nothing I wouldn't do for these guys that I wouldn't have done for my own kids. <laughs> Keep trying. Valerie's Keep human trying. kids are grown up and out of the house. Augie and Quincy have found extra room in Valerie's home and heart. This past summer, Valerie and her husband went to the Humane Society, and someone stood out. The first time that I held him, he nibbled on my ear. Yeah, he's mine. The Grand Forks Humane Society has brought many owners and dogs together through the years. This event is a dog festival they hold yearly. It's just nice to see that bond between owner and pet. Valerie, Augie, and Quincy take this opportunity to mingle with other dogs and their owners. The festival includes events like Best Tail Wagger, Doggy Bowling, and Most Disobedient. Come here, kids. Come Quincy here, shows his stuff in the Best Trick competition. Sadly, he doesn't win, but it's evident Valerie still supports her pooch. She says the best part of having a dog is the love they give. They don't care if you got the promotion or the raise or not. They love you no matter what. Places like the Humane Society make those relationships happen. For Quincy and Augie, it doesn't matter how they got into Valerie's home. All that matters is that they got into her heart. With photographer Ann Hook, I'm Christiana Dogan reporting for Studio One. The festival this year had homemade doggy treats. Other activities included doggy dash and musical sit and stay.